My name is Timothy White. I'm a partner in the Morrison Hotel Gallery, um, a new gallery that we just opened in West Hollywood uh, here at the Sunset Marquee Hotel. My name is Peter Blatchley, and I'm a co-owner of the Morrison Hotel Gallery. My name is Rich Horowitz, and I am one of the co-owners of the Morrison Hotel Gallery. Peter Blatchley said, I work with this photographer named Henry Diltz. My name's Henry Diltz. I'm a music photographer for 40 some odd years. I've been staying at this hotel for about 30 years. I shot many of the famous subjects that I shoot at this hotel. And when Timothy approached us with the idea, we just thought it was fabulous, a perfect fit. I just felt that this hotel, which has such great Hollywood history, should have some of the most iconic images. Which kind of led to all this thing we're having here this evening, you know? This is the place to be. What we're bringing is a fascinating emotional connection that these photographs offer to people that they can't get anywhere else like this. I'm Dawn Camerling. I do the PR for the Morrison Hotel Gallery. Yesterday was nuts. I was on a flight that landed at 2.40, had to get to the hotel. I don't account for like LA traffic the way most people do. I'm like, what do you mean? Five, five minutes. An hour later, like at the hotel, dropped off the bag, went straight to Fox TV with Tim, the photographer. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Never met him before, but I've... They're going right now to Fox News so that Tim can do an interview to promote the opening of the gallery. We're gonna have to do a walkthrough in the morning and figure out how we're gonna do the movement from the front door to that pool area. This is terrible. I left my phone on during the flight and I had moments of wireless. <laughs> I saw the bar show up and I like manically started sending text messages. I've been here for about three yeah. weeks. It's been about six months in the making. Really trying my hardest to represent all of the photographers that are, that are represented by the Morrison Hotel Gallery. His work is done and then mine will start tomorrow at like three and it will be, you know, probably until around 11 or 12. Then I'll be able to relax, but it's like a game day, you know. Traffic, 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 interviews, more traffic. And then, you know, came back and just facilitated more more stuff. There's no moment of like prep, like downtime in, in there. It makes me a little nervous. It's like it's gonna storm. Like if that happens, that just can't happen. That's not allowed. Not allowed to happen. You know, we're like right in the middle of like the mayhem. We are opening the Morrison Hotel Gallery in LA tonight at the Sunset Marquee Hotel. There's a couple hours till game day, right? So I have to get the DJs set up, get the DJ here, get my staff here, which is already an issue because they're late, print the guest lists, clone myself, <laughs> light the step and repeat, get little pretty things to separate it. That is what I know of now, and then like the 70 other things that will come up. Tequila shots after naked pool diving. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's too cold. <laughs> this is where it gets exciting for me. Here's what we're doing. Our fabulous DJ is going to set up here. Guests will come in from this way to there. They'll walk in, they'll be excited. The biggest issue that I'm going to have to manage the flow of people that are going to come in through the front door are gonna bottleneck at the front door. Like, I can already tell that that's gonna happen. Oh, there's Henry! Hi! Henry Dill, it's amazing. Wow, we Kindest are human being on we are PR. right we are PR. here. In, in your midst. So, the issue that we're gonna worry about, which I'm gonna try to figure out how we're gonna handle, is people are gonna come in. The issue is gonna be, how are we gonna get all these people to know that there's actually an entire gallery outside? probably not going to rain. I'm going to just go with that and assume that it's not going to rain. I'm really psyched up for tonight, which is the grand opening. There's going to be tons of people in here, probably a lot more than we think. We expect to create some waves in the city. We expect to bring the absolute finest photographers. The photographers that are on the walls of this hotel are represented by the gallery and what the gallery represents is on the walls of the hotel. The history of this hotel and the history of this photography. You know, it represents a time of renaissance when music was the, uh, the cultural icon of our time. The worst thing that could happen would be to run out of tequila at 9 instead of 10. It's going to be the party to be at, I have a feeling, in Los Angeles. Best case scenario that I get to meet Harrison Ford. Uh, that would be good. We expect it to be incredibly successful.
It is 6.30 and we're essentially opening doors in about a half an hour. Things feel pretty good, like the, the mild chaos, which feels pretty normal at this moment. Uh, my name is Susan Brandt and I work at the Morrison Hotel Gallery on special events. But, uh, what do you think? It's great. Uh, Feel good? Calm before the storm. Calm before the storm. Yeah. It's perfect. It's it's a built-in party. You've got the bar. You've got the hotel rooms. Uh, it's very comfortable. Everyone can sit around and look at the photos, talk about them, have a drink. So far, there's no storm. Yeah. <laughs> Only New York. photographers here, a lot of our old friends of mine, people I haven't seen in a while. It's good to see them and it's good to see their photos on the wall. You know, I get to photograph a lot of different musicians, uh, Black Keys and the Avid Brothers and My Morning Jacket to Foo Fighters and Pearl Jam and Jack Johnson, as well as Johnny Cash and Neil Young and Bruce Springsteen. I work a lot with Bruce Springsteen, so. But our shows seem to draw the most handsome men and the most beautiful women, I don't know what it is, but it's okay with me. We find that a lot of people identify with these pictures because they remind them of those moments in their past, you know, and their favorite artists, their favorite songs, their favorite albums. I own every record that Henry ever shot the cover for. And I happened to take the Morrison Hotel album cover. It was a huge emotional experience, you know, collecting all those records, thinking, I wonder what was going on that day. You know, I wonder what, what the real story is of, of how that transpired. That picture took five minutes, literally, to take. They weren't gonna let us take it, and then the guy left the desk, so we ran in there and just took it while he was gone. And one roll of film, five minutes, and we were out of there, you know. But life is good, and we're happy to be here, and we're happy to be, you know, making other people happy. Harrison Ford came to our party. We made a phenomenal initial impression on the city of Los Angeles, which is no easy task. Thank you, Sunset Marquee and Rod and everybody here. They've been fabulous, and we feel really positive going forward. This is the right place for us to be. It feels great, but we feel very, very positive about it. It's only going to get better. It went off without a, a hitch. It felt like it was pretty smooth. The craziest moment of last night, in the middle of an event with like 500 people, all of a sudden there's a painting that is enormous that needs to be hung up. And people are like grabbing me and saying, oh, they're hanging the image. So then I look over and there's like four men standing on a, a dresser in the middle of a party. And I'm like trying to make sure no one's like butt crack is out and like that everybody's happy. You know, music touches us all so greatly, and for people to walk into this gallery and see this image that represents that music that affected them at a certain time in their life, it just resonates emotionally with them, and so it's just a perfect connection. Mm -hmm. 